This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says if x equals 1 fourth and y equals 4 over 9, then what is the value of 2 over x divided by y over 3? So we're going to be evaluating this expression. Of course, since you're not permitted to use a calculator or a reference sheet on the actual ASVAB or PICAT, I strongly encourage you to get in the habit of copying questions down and working them out on your own scratch paper. And since we're evaluating this expression when x equals 1 fourth and y equals 4 over 9, the first thing you have to do is plug in 1 fourth for x and 4 over, for 9, 4 over 9 for y respectively. Let's go ahead and do that. This becomes 2 over 1 fourth divided by 4 over 9 over 3. Let's go ahead and simplify these uh, one by one. That is to say, let's simplify 2 divided by 1 fourth. We're dividing a whole number by a fraction, so we're going to follow the algorithm keep, change, flip. We're going to keep this whole number the same, so this becomes 2. We're going to change from division to multiplication, and we're going to flip the fraction in the denominator. So instead of being 1 over 4, it's going to be 4 over 1. What is 4 over 1? 4 divided by 1 is just 4, so this becomes 2 times 4, which is 8. So in other words, 2 divided by 1 fourth is just 8. Let's go ahead and simplify this part right here. We have 4 over 9 divided by 3. Again, I can write 3 as a fraction by placing it over 1. And now you can see I'm dividing two fractions, which means I'm going to follow the algorithm keep, change, flip. That is to say, I'm going to keep this fraction in the numerator the same, so it's going to stay as 4 over 9. I'm going to change from division to multiplication, and I'm going to flip the fraction in the denominator. So instead of being 3 over 1, it's going to be 1 over 3. And when you multiply fractions, you just multiply straight across. This becomes 4. Again, 4 times 1 is 4. 9 times 3 is 27. So we have 8 divided by 4 over 27. And what are we doing right here? We're dividing a whole number by a fraction. So once more, we're going to follow the algorithm, keep, change, flip. We're going to keep 8 the same. We're going to change from division to multiplication. And then we're going to flip this second fraction. So it's going to be 27 over 4. Again, I can write, write 8 as a fraction by placing it over 1. This enables me to cross-reduce. I can say 4 goes into 4 one time, 4 goes into 8 two times. This is 2 over 1, which is just 2, times 27 over 1, which is 27. What is 2 times 27? Again, if you can't do that mentally, do it off to the side. 7 times 2 is 14, carry a 1. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 27 times 2 is 54. So the answer to this one is D, 54.